How's it going everybody? It's Pride here and welcome back to another video. I wanted to make this video to inform you guys of a little glitch that you may or may not know about with the Bloodlust. One of the more underused katanas and I thought I'd spread it, hopefully like wildfire, and fill PvP with this thing. It's a cool weapon, it's not overly overpowered or crazy strong. Or at least some people believe it is now, man. After the new patch, apparently it's pretty good. Some people say 4 hits for bleed. I didn't see it. I have like 60 luck and I wasn't getting bleed for most of my games, so. The glitch that I'm showing you guys today is mainly for its attack power. If you guys didn't know, in the most recent patch, they did make this weapon a bit better and worse at the same time. So, in case you've never seen this weapon, whenever you use the weapon art, basically stab yourself in the stomach, before the patch, you used to get a nice little AR boost. It went up by about, yeah, I'd say about 70, 80, close to 100. Pretty much kind of like a resin buff, along with making your weapon build up bleed quicker. So with the most recent patch, they made that better. They made the build up a lot faster. Uh, they made it build up more with fewer hits. But then what they did is basically remove the nice little AR boost that they give you for using the weapon art. And I don't really know about that trade off. I don't know if I exactly agree with it, but it was done and that's pretty much it. So as you saw, I have 350 AR. Not too great for a katana, but it is going to build up bleed very quickly. But now, once we switch it to the offhand, something weird happens. We get the AR boost from before the patch. I have no idea why this works, and I'm fairly certain, about 80% I'd say, that you still retain the benefits from the most recent patch where you build up bleed a lot quicker. And it's not a number that's just for show, it does actually increase your attack. It does increase how much damage you do. I did test it out in PvP, so that's pretty awesome. If you're somebody who uses this weapon consistently, go out there and uh, put that shit on your left hand. The only problem is that you're gonna have to use it two-handed because obviously you have it on your offhand, you only have a couple of swipes and you do not have any R2 pokes. So I guess it's a good trade-off having that damage, and I'm assuming this is something that will probably get patched sooner or later, within the next few weeks, I'd say. But anyways, I thought I'd show you guys this uh, this little glitch. I am going to be making a, a video with this weapon. It's been a while since I've used it in a video, but that should be out here in a few days. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If I helped you out, be sure to drop a like. It really helps me out. But anyways, I'll talk to you all later. Peace, everybody.